What's good? It's Google you're watching Nard Wars video about. Who are you? I'm Kuko. Kuko, welcome to South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. Thank you. Right after that, I have a gift for you. An immortal technique. Oh, oh album. shit. What the fuck? Yo, I love this fucking album. What can you say about immortal technique and Kuko? Yo, I was put onto him like hella early, bro. I was young and I heard Dance with the Devil. That shit fucked with me for a minute. But I was like five, bro. And that's from 2003, an immortal technique LP. Yeah, thank you, bro. This is sick. Kuko, Javier, did he teach you guitar? Yeah. Yeah, that was, <laughs> yeah, that was my, my guitar teacher. That was like the, the person that taught me how to play like my first uh, my first chords and shit. Javier Barbosa. And Mrs. Grace? Mrs. Grace, yeah, yeah. She was my one of my teachers for uh for high school. She uh we did link she was like my link crew mentor. Who has your dad driven cabs for, Kuko? What the fuck? <laughs> I can't really say it because he I can't like disclose it, but he's driven like for like hella famous people and shit. Yeah, he he not cabs though. He used to he did like limo service. Thank you, Juice. Juice, like Glenn? Juice helped inspire you, right? Juice? Glenn? You talking about Glenn, like my homie from college? Yeah, what the fuck? Shout out to Glenn, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's my homie. Fucking, we used to like ditch class, bro. Like, we used to ditch uh, class in college in Santa Monica. And like, he would just take photos and like, I would just post for him. And like, we would just, like, he would just watch me make music in like my car. I would like mix. And he would just watch me make beats. So that's, that's crazy. Thank you, Juice. Thank you, Juice, bro. What were you like back then? What were you like back oh, then? Oh my God! Yo, bro, I was I was a scene kid, bro. I used to be into like it's kind of emo ish, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. How would you describe yourself right there? Sad, uh, skinnier. I used to be into like. I used to be into like Pierce the Bell and shit, dude. Still kind of am. Good hair. When did that hair end? Uh, like so, like sophomore year. I I had I went through this phase like really quickly, like for like a year, and then I was just over it. Then I started like going through like this like psychedelic like phase of like music when I was like 14, 15. What about Cruz from Checkerboard? Oh, Cruz! Oh my God, he threw a uh, our first backyard show. It was originally just me. And she do. It was a four piece band. And we did that show out in Whittier at the homie Aaron's house. Shout out to Aaron because uh that shit was sick. That was like one of like the like the best like I was like that was like that was like a sick experience because like I didn't realize how many people like were gonna come just to, like a background show to like watch me. Thank you, just another rap show. Bro, Jars, that was like my first rap like real show. Like oh my god, bro. Like uh Quest, he's the one that I hit up. Uh, Actually, well, how have you introduce everybody here? Uh, from the left, could you introduce everybody? That's Quest. This is Gio right here. It's my visuals guy, my drummer, Liano, Siscato, my TM, Ryan, my day to day, Sadie, my guitar player, Breeze, the Breeze with the Flow, and Doris. I don't really know. Yeah, these are two homies that we just met right now, YouTube homies. Thank you, young Yogi. Young Yogi, bro, it's so crazy, bro. I used to listen to volumes when I looked like this. And he hit me up. Like, he followed me, like, for a while, but then he actually, like, hit me up sometime, like, last year, I think. And, like, we actually worked on some shit, too. Like, I produced for him in Quest, like, a song that hasn't even come out yet, but it's tight. Yeah, he's, like, he's like one of my favorite vocalists, like, aside from, like, like just, like, a person. Like, he's a really sick vocalist. And he turned you on to Puya, and then Puya helped turn on everybody to you. Yeah, yeah, he put. I I found out through about Puya because because of Yogi, bro. Like he would always. I was like a metalhead, but I would see him kicking it with Puya, and I always thought that dude was funny. I can't remember how it goes, but basically Marcus Flexitelli and Mikey the Magician were like some of the first people that were onto me, and then like Puya like got hip. So shout out to them, bro, because that's like sick as fuck. Like those are like to me like underground like legends. So the ironies. The ironies, what the fuck? Bro. What? Bro, he was <laughs> Bro, Julian, bro. 
You gotta come up here, bro. Tell them about the ironies. Who do we have here? Who do we have here, bro? E. <laughs> <laughs> what can you say about the gentleman you have to your right? Bro, this we used to play keyboards for ironies, bro. Me and Ishmael, keyboard player from back in the day. We used to hang out. We were like all like punks and stuff like that. Like we got, I got asked by one of my really close homies that I grew up with in Lawndale. He's like, hey, like my band, my homie's band, his name is Tadeo. He plays with his band called The Ironies. Like he, he knows you play, I told him you play keyboards and he wants to see what's up. Like if you're down to play. And I've never listened to ska. I have not dwelled into ska. Like I was not like super like conscious of like the whole ska scene that was going on like Compton, South Central. It moved to the Valley, but now I don't know where it mo what's moved now. But yeah, basically just like started jamming with them. We used to play like hella backyard shows, and for a point, like for a good they were popping, bro. Yeah, they, were they were popping. They were popping, but then like, but then like our our lead singer and uh, one of the trumpets quit, and then like it just kind of like went down from there because we had like a new like a couple singers. The last singer that we had was solid like he was a homie that would always chill with us but um yeah yeah it, it was just like a really cool like scene and like really cool phase what the through. fuck like, he, he was, we, we played um we played this uh that, was know, that hawthorne high that was and he played he played the same show him and isai played the same show and i didn't even know them i didn't even know them yet but our trumpet player that quit did know them and so it was just like uh That's you crazy. johnny's band samarium samarium that's who won oh yeah. God. What was Kuko like back then? I was fucking weird, bro. I was just into like myself and like kicking it by myself and my best friend. And uh, I don't know. I just like I had friends. I was cool people. Like I had like a lot of my my friends that like I really like kicked it with. Like in high school, like I still kick it with now. But uh, even then, like I wasn't really like I didn't really know people like that. But I was just like held to myself. I just worked on music and. I would lock myself in my room for like hours and then just like work on shit. And then once I finally had like the software to record, I started recording my music. I was hella quiet. I was tripping a lot in school. So like I'd be like sitting in class and like just like, like looking at like all the posters just like, whoo. well, like I was just like, oh fuck. I have another gift for right here. This is actually a comp of Latin American and some Mexican psychedelic music from oh, the 1960s. Sick. Including the kaleidoscope. That's crazy. But there's a whole bunch of stuff like Peruvian stuff. Fuck, this is sick. Have you ever thought about doing a cover of 60s Latin American psychedelic music? Yeah, I want to do like a cover of uh, Leticia Isabel by Los Moonlights. I feel like that one would be really sick. And here's some really obscure stuff, like from Argentina, all sorts of psychedelic music yeah. from the 1960s, all comped up there for you to cover, possibly. Some really, really obscure stuff. This, like, trippy as vinyl is sick. How much are you into psychedelic? Like, Lemon Pipers, the Lemon uh, Pipers. I love the Lemon Pipers, bro. They're, like, one of my favorite, like, old school psych bands. Like, I love Lemon Pipers, The Birds, uh, Love. And I have a gift for you right here. Here is actually an original poster, a reprint from 1999 of a 1966 Love and the Leaves poster for you. What? Oh my God. Can I pull this out? Yes, go ahead. It's a Dennis Lauren poster, a very rare poster, but it's a 99 repro of a 66 poster, Love and the Leaves at the Whiskey. The Whiskey at Go-Go? Damn. This is so sick, dude. And I have a gift for you right here, the Kawampus beer. The Kawama? The Pacifico? This is fire. You put it in a Michelada cup, some Kawamato, you sit down, kick it with your dad, drink this shit, it's good. Also, I have another gift for you, a Selena 7-inch, uh, an original uh, jukebox version for jukeboxes only of Selena, because you cover Selena, an original yeah, Selena I, record. Yeah, big hole, big crazy. hole. Yeah, we did a Selena for Sanctuary in New York, and I, uh, I, did, I did cover Selena. And that's from 1995, an actual jukebox release. Look at the this jukebox so thing. Fuck. Do you have an Elon Musk flamethrower? I do. I haven't used that shit though. I, I have. Like, that I, sounds incredible. Can you explain it? I I, I can't really explain it because I haven't used it. Because I got. What does it look like? It's just like really. It's I, I, it's just a roofing torch, bro. Like it's not really a flamethrower. It's like a, it's like a, a roofing torch with like a with like a like a rifle body. I haven't used it though, just because like after I got it like after like my accident. So like 
I don't know, safety hazards. A flamethrower. Yeah. Anything like that to the people out there at all, Kuko? Uh, I just want to give a fucking thank you to everybody that like supports me and like fucks with me because, I mean, getting interviewed by Nardwar is crazy, bro. So this is like, it's an honor, bro. And I appreciate that. Thank you very much, Kuko. Why should people care about Kuko? Why should people care? I don't know. Just... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I just make music. People listen to music. And I guess if you fuck with it, you fuck with it. If you don't, you don't. And like. Well, thank you very much, Kuko. <laughs> Keep on rocking in the free world and do, do, loot, do. Do, do. Yeah. Go stupid. Ah, go crazy.